Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT Integration Me 2024 regular season problem one. We have the integral from one to 2024, the floor of the log base 43x dx. Okay, to get started with this, let's just do a quick review on the floor function first. So the floor just rounds us down to the next lowest integer. So if I've got some, like let's say I have a decimal number like 3.23, the floor of this is just gonna round me down to three. Now let's say the input is already an integer. So like if we want the floor of three, we're already at an integer value, so the rounding down just, it just keeps me at three. And so the floor is always gonna return an integer, even if I'm really, like if I have 3.999 and I'm really close to four, it still rounds me down to three. And one thing to be careful about, if you happen to have negative numbers, let's say I have minus 2.2, let's say, and we have the floor of this. Now, if you went to minus two, that's rounding up. Rounding down, it's gonna take me to minus three. Now, coming back to our integral, we usually can get some pretty good simplification because if we can break this up, if we can break up our integral the right way, we'll notice the floor is going to return integer values. If we're integrating integer values, we're basically just integrating one, the problem will become easy. So what I want to do is let's get a feel for what's inside the floor. Let's get a look at log base 43 of x. So what I want to do over here to the right is just look at our input here to the floor function when we get integer values. This is pretty easy to see with log properties. Like here, if we have an exponent on a log, I can bring the exponent up front in each of these. And, and then when we do that, we just have log base 43 of 43 is one. So of course, in each of these, we have the exponent. So we have these nice integer values. But then on each of these, we can find our x value, which is gonna be this here. So like 43 to the zero, our x value here is one at this point. Here, our x value is just 43. Here, our x value is 43 squared. That's the same thing as 1849. And here for this one, I don't really know what that is. That's gonna be like, I'm just guessing, it's like 70,000, so it's gonna be way greater than our upper bound of 2024. So we really don't need to worry about this value here. So what we found here is we've got these three x values where our input into the floor function is gonna always be an integer. So using these three points, it's gonna be a good way for me to just break up this integral into three different integrals. Okay, so now that I have this broken up on those points that we found on the previous board, right? Now doing it this way, each of these integrals is gonna simplify to just a numeric value. Just basically doing what we just did at this x value, log 43 of one, that's zero. For this one, log 43 of 43 is just one. So all the way at the upper bound, this value is one, but for an integral, we never quite get to 43. We wanna look at values just below that. And so all the values between one and 43, everything here is gonna round down to zero. So because here we're just integrating zero, this first integral is just gonna go away. And then for the second integral for our lower bound, when the x value is 43, we're at one. For the upper bound, log 43, 1849 was just 43 squared. This is just two. But then within these bounds between 43 and less than 1849, everything here is gonna get rounded down to the next highest integer, which is just one. So this integral just becomes one. Now for this last integral, we don't know exactly what's happening at log 43 of 2024, right? But we do know that this is less than, this is gonna be less than log 43 of 43 cubed or whatever that is. And we know this value here is three. So this here has to be less than three. And this value here, log 43 of 1849 is gonna be just two. So what's gonna happen here, everything's gonna round down and this integral is just gonna become two. And so now all we're left with is two very easy integrals. First, we just need to integrate one and we got x that we need to evaluate from 43 to 1849. And then here we're integrating two, so we have two x evaluated from 1849 to 2024. So just evaluating this really quick, for the first one we're gonna have 1849 minus 43. And for the second one, we'll have two times 2024 minus 1849. This first value here, this is gonna be 1806. And then here for the second one, we're gonna have two times, this value is actually 175. Two times 175 is 350. So putting this all together for my final solution, we just get 1861. No, we don't. Shoot. So putting it together, adding 1806 and 350, we get our final solution of just 2156. Okay, so there you have it. Good example using the floor function. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.